So are you curious what my decor looks like for Christmas in my living room? You know I have a cozy cabin theme. Well, in today's video, I'm going to share my decor on my white mantle, all decorated for the holidays, and a display on top of my TV cabinet, and a display featuring the Mouse Sisters. It seems like they're reading some cookbooks, getting ready for my big Candyland display in my dining room. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. And you know I'm 70, and if I can do all these things, you can do them too, at any age. I want to thank all my subscribers. You all mean so much to me, watching my videos and all your wonderful comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't want to miss any of my crazy Christmas videos. And I have a jam-packed year for 2022. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to take you on a tour of my living room mantle, all decorated, an asymmetrical design and a symmetrical design on my mantle. You'll have to wait and see what that looks like. Then I've used my little uh, angel dolls to do a really cute display over my TV cabinet. And like I said, we're going to check in on those My Sisters. They are so industrious. They're studying all their recipes and getting ready to make goodies for Christmas. Anyway, I hope you love this. I hope you get inspired. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome to my living room Christmas decor. I want to start over with my mantle. Now, I want to talk about the top of the mantle first because it's very symmetrical and my garland is not. <laughs> So let's talk about the top first. So a very easy formula I have for doing a mantle is to have your one main piece. That could be your mirror, your picture, um, a sign, whatever you have as your focal point here. And then, then frame it with uh, two pairs or one pair of something. See what I'm saying? If you have all low stuff here, your eye is not doesn't kind of go through and see it all in. It just runs off the edge. Now I've added another pair of trees. Now this is a really good uh, formula to use because you do your two pairs and then you put whatever you want in the middle. Let's take a look and see what I did put in the middle. Now last year I was on a minimal kick. Okay, I did the, my pairs of trees. I didn't put it in a bucket and I just had another two trees in the middle. I just wanted it really simple. This year, I wanted more of a charming, cozy cabin look. So I put those trees in these fire uh, wood buckets that I got at uh, Dollar Tree, I think two years ago. And these adorable trees that have fur all around the bottom of the tree and those were from Home Goods. So when you have these two pairs, now you can put something in the middle. Doesn't that make it easier to, to um, do a display on the mantle? I think it does. It's kind of a formula that works for me. Um, and kind of watch my different mantles. I do every month and you'll see I kind of follow that rule. Now in the center, you know I bought these little Hobby Lobby deer this year. I have mama and baby here. And once I put them on the mantle, I had to put greenery. I wanted them to look like they were standing in a forest. So I put some of my new real spiky picks there. And then I have some uh, snowy eucalyptus, some pine cones, and the same red berries that are over on my Christmas tree. You know, I have those red berries all over my tree. And that comprises my mantle. Now, I think that would be an adorable mantle. If you don't want to do a garland, just add more green. We kind of spilling over the edge. Now, as far as the asymmetrical um, garland goes, this has been popular for the past couple of years. The garland comes up, swoops over. You do some kind of thing over here, bells or ribbons or whatever. And then here on this side, they bunch up together all their Christmas stockings. And here I have white fur, red velvet, and then a black Glen plaid. That one I made. I wanted to reiterate all the colors that I'm using. Same thing with the ribbon over here. I have my plaid ribbon, burlap, 
black and white check. Same as on my tree, remember? Pull things and repeat things around the room. It really makes it look cohesive. And I, the rest of the garland's just lights and some of these little snowy um, pieces that I put in. But I think it looks really cute, charming, a little bit more busy than last year, but I really look, it looks very cozy and warm, like a cozy cabin. Now let's take a look over my TV cabinet. Now here I have a little display with, I call them my angel dolls, okay? So these are so cute. I got them at Home Goods years ago and they represent my two granddaughters, Elizabeth and Sophia, who I love dearly. They have little plaid dresses and bows. And look at their shoes. Little like red um, flowers with a black center. They're just so adorable. And they're sitting and they're waiting for Santa Claus. Santa Claus is coming to town. I got that at Walmart two years ago. And I've just put fairy lights and some trees. You can see here I have a burlap tree. This is what I made. And a wood tree back here, and then some of my smaller little trees. But I think it makes a very sweet little display. Again, repeating my colors, black, white, and red. Now let's see what the Mouse Sisters are up to. Well, <laughs> I found the Mouse Sisters. I've included them in this little display. Now, I told you earlier that I was gonna do a little display based on books. These cute, vintage-looking books I got, they're actually boxes, from Home Goods. And you can see I have one in my lantern. By the way, I love this big lantern. I got that at, I want to say Home Goods. And you know, for Halloween, I fill it full of Halloween stuff, Christmas, Christmas stuff. In the summer, I put shells in it. I mean, it's just such a cute thing. And it even has a little drawer in it. All right, so we have our mouse sisters, and what are they up to? They are reading their recipe books. They're getting ready for the big display I'm doing in my dining room, which is all about candy and baked goods. It looks like they're reading their little recipe books. There's Minnie and Missy, and here's Mousy, and they're studying all the ingredients they need. You can see they have some peppermints here and some marshmallows. All right, girls. Get ready, because we have a big display to do. You're going to be very, very busy. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have so much fun with this. And wait till you see him in the kitchen. That's going to be really fun, too. Anyway, I hope you love this. I hope you get inspired. And I'm going to see you in the next Christmas video. Bye.